Hi everyone, it's Amy here from the White Lab House. Today I'm going to show you all of my vintage finds from the last two weeks of shopping at the Goodwill Bins. Alright, let's get started. I found this old vintage McCormick's map of the world from 1964. I thought it was super cool. It is going to go in my Etsy store. This is also going to go in my Etsy shop. It is a Betty Crocker outdoor cookbook from about 1961. I had also bought these two with the intention of selling them, but I am going to keep them. They are just so lovely. I think this type of embroidery work is called cruel work. Um, you can let me know if I'm correct or not, but I love them. They're gorgeous. I was so excited to find this. Um, it's a small world music box from Disneyland from about the 1960s. I listed it in my Etsy shop and it sold literally within a, probably a day and a half. Um, it was in perfect condition and the music still played the song It's a Small World. It was so cute. This little adorable chipmunk figurine is going to go on my kitchen table for Thanksgiving along with probably some candles and pumpkins and such. I was really sad I couldn't find the other one to this set. It is an art mark little donkey from about the 1950s salt and pepper shakers. Um, if you find the the whole set, there are little tails intertwined. It's super cute. Um, but I still am gonna list him on my Etsy shop. I figure someone might need a replacement. Don't the colors on this little sugar jar by Fred Roberts Company just scream the 70s, that bright orange and the yellow and the green. Um, this is going to go in my Etsy shop. Um, it's again made in the 1970s. I found this gorgeous little lusterware bud vase. I have it currently listed in my Etsy shop, but I think I might end up keeping it. I'm not sure. It is so pretty. I want to add it to my lusterware collection. This was another item that sold um, almost as immediately as soon as I listed it on Etsy. It is a 1950 Ellie Smith Amber Glass. Um, it has a little squirrel on top of an acorn and it is perfect for Thanksgiving. That's probably why it sold so quickly. This sweet little cranberry colored glass little bud vase was sitting with um, a set of two of the vintage Pyrex cranberry colored mixing bowls. And so I don't think the little vase is Pyrex, but I'm gonna list all three of them um, together on my Etsy shop just because they are the exact same colored glass and they are just really cute together. This is definitely for me. I am totally keeping this. This is my color. I love the style, the color. It's a uh, glass bake. It's like a square mug. Um, I'm hoping to find more of these eventually, but oh my gosh, I love this find. This is another item that I am for sure keeping. It is this gorgeous lusterware mug. I know there's a whole set of these out there and I am going to find them all. Yep, this is another item that is staying with me. 
uh, look at how gorgeous that green color is. It is gonna be added to my glass collection. I tend to collect green and blue glass, but I really just like the kind of like that emerald green colored. But look at how gorgeous this frosted blue little candy dish is. This is also staying in my collection. And I also found this beauty. Man, it was a great week for finding some beautiful vintage glassware at the bins. Um, this one is for sure going in my bedroom. I, uh, that's where I keep my vintage glassware. I'll post a picture of uh, my collection that I have so far at the end. I found this sweet little Takahachi, I believe is how you say it, it's from Japan. It's a cute little bird trinket dish in great condition, there's no chips or cracks. Um, that is also going in my Etsy store. This sweet little figurine was not um, marked in any way. I'm guessing it's home coat, but um, it's going to go in my Etsy shop. Uh, if somebody wants it, great. If not. It was practically free. The crazy things you come across at the bins, I tell ya. Um, I found this 1950s Chinese communist propaganda alarm clock. Um, there's some rust on the bottom, but it's in pretty decent shape, so I, and I thought it was just interesting, so it came home with me. I paid 39 cents a piece for these vintage beer glasses. They, they're like fake um, stained glass. We are not beer drinkers here, so they will probably go in my Etsy shop. If you've ever been to the bins, you know that people are like a bull in a china shop there. And I am always shocked when things come out unscathed from the bins. Um, this gorgeous little coffee canister um, is from Le Cordon Bleu the Franklin Mint, it says on it, and I'm from 1989. And there is not a chip or anything on it. It is gorgeous. I found this sweet little um, vintage kids dining set, oh, complete with little fork and spoon. Uh, it is really, really sweet. There's little bunnies on it. Um, I just liked it. I think it's gonna go probably in my Etsy shop. plates from Portugal. Um, the two green melon plates are going to go in at my Etsy shop and I am keeping this gorgeous pink little plate because I have a matching um, purple platter for it. They're kind of like a, I'm going to use them for Easter decor. Um, they are really, really pretty. This is another item I got to sell. Um, it's just a collectible plate by the Stratford Collection. Um, this one is a little Siberian tiger cub. It's really cute. Um, I figure somebody probably collects this sort of thing. Like I have said previously, I always have really good luck finding vintage Pyrex at my local bins. I There must be a lot of people that donate them in my area. This little gem is going to one of my best friends, Nicole, at Nicole North Garden. This little piece is in the homestead pattern, and it goes with a mixing bowl that I had gotten on a, at a previous Goodwill bins trip, and they sold already. This beauty I am keeping for my personal collection. My kitchen is in a lot of black and white decor and I was so excited to find this black and white snowflake pattern Pyrex bowl. This 
This rusty old little tin cup is another item I picked up for my friend Nicole. I grabbed this little copper, little watering can. It's just so cute. Um, I put some little greens in it that I will, I'll post a picture of it at the end. I thought this was a really sweet and fun little kids book, um, The Three Little Ducks. The paintings in it or the illustrations in it are just really, really pretty. This gorgeous painting I have had hanging up in my home for a few years now. I have kept it up year-round just because I love the colors in it. It matches my living room. Um, but I was also looking for um, more paintings to change out for the different seasons. And I found this amazing fall-themed painting that is going to go up in that spot um, for the fall. And then I also found this gorgeous beach um, painting that will go in the same spot probably for the spring and the summer. Um, all the colors go really well with my living room decor and I will probably paint the frames. Oh my gosh, when I saw this, it just brought me back to my childhood. I had this as an infant baby and it was probably one of my older sisters. Um, but I remember, we must have kept it around long enough for me to remember this, but I... Oh my gosh, it just brought back so many memories. I completely remembered this this toy um, by Fisher Price, so I just had to grab it. And those are my treasures for the week from the Goodwill Bins. I will leave you with this sad picture of my Duke begging for food because I'm such a mean mom and never share my food with him. He eventually gave up and just fell asleep. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at White Lab House.